The outback is a very hot place, especially when you're tired and you've been walking all day. What this little penguin could do with is a nice cold drink. But it's not that easy to find one in the outback. Frank and Buster were out on their daily patrol, looking for anyone who might need their help. Is that someone there? Where? No, sorry, just a rock. Uh-oh. Did you put fuel in the plane this morning, Buster? Ah, uh, no. Uh, neither did I. We'll have to walk home and get some fuel if we can find the empty can. Aha! Oh dear. Uh, which is the way back? I don't know. Everything looks different from down here. Ah, ah that, that way. way! Oh, that, that way? way? Ah, we are lost. What are we going to do? Frank, and this is Buster. Hello. Pleased to meet you. What's your name? Ew. Ew. Do you need help? You want something to drink? And, and something to eat? Well, good thing we are here to help. Yeah. If only we weren't lost. Oh. Read maps, Frank? Oh, uh, of course, Buster. No, I'm afraid this map is broken. We can't use it. Broken? <laughs> oh, look! It's the homestead! I don't think that map was broken after all. Now, let's find you somewhere cool to sit and get you a nice cold drink. And some food. Quite right, Buster. We're here to help. Mm. Here you go. Before Frank and Buster could find out what their little friend liked to eat, they had to figure out what kind of animal she might actually be. Hi, Frank. Hi, Buster. Ned, can you come and... Oh, who's that? Where'd she come from? What's her name? What is she? We don't know, Mitzi. That's what we're trying to figure out. I think she's a duck. Oh, she's not a duck, Mitzi. Look, those are duck feet. I know duck feet when I see them. Are you a duck? <laughs> Maybe she's one of those. Uh, I still think she's a duck. Ned thinks she's a duck too, don't you, Ned? I, uh... Aha! Mm. I think I found you. Yes, yes, you're a penguin. Hello, little penguin. <laughs> we still say she's a duck. Uh, Ned, uh? are you coming? Oh. Uh. Hmm. It says here that penguins like to eat fish. Are you hungry? This is all we've got. I hope it'll do. 
Hey, ha, hey, not so fast. She's finished already. If all she eats is fish, we're going to have to get some more. And pretty quickly. Frank and Buster soon realised that the little penguin could catch as much food as she wanted to eat. Look, Frank. Before long, she was making herself quite at home. leaving. Yes. She's had a good rest and she's got some more water now and some food. So? So it's time for her to go. <laughs> but there was one more thing she wanted. Say cheese! Cheese! I think she wants a picture with you now, Mitzi. With me? to ask you something. Where's the plane? The, the plane! plane. <laughs> Better not forget this. Oh. Mm. Goodbye, little... um... penguin? Thanks for finding our plane. Yes. Thank you, little penguin. Now we can get back to helping everyone again. This time, she helped us. <laughs> Goodbye, little penguin. And so Frank and Buster learned that everybody needs help sometimes, even the koala brothers. But that's not quite the end of our story. Sometime later, Frank and Buster had a visit from George, the postman. Good day, Buster. Just one letter for you and Frank today. It's from Antarctica. It still feels cold. Thanks, George. <laughs> it's from our little penguin friend. Says here her name is Penny. Oh, I hope she'll come back to visit us soon. You know, I'm going to miss that duck. 